hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about the clean url so we are going to make a clean url or a seo friendly url in php using ht access file okay guys, so now let's see a demo over here so how are you url is and how it's going to be okay so guys as you can see here when we click on this php here you find category.php and then your parameter so instead of this url we want something like the the category slash your parameter okay so in this way this looks very cool and clear seo friendly url guys so now to build this let's get started so yep let's go to our project and create one dot ht access file so let's create one new file dot ht acc ess ht access file yes so guys first we have to rewrite our engine on so re write engine on over here we have to transfer all the links so let me just copy this and paste here so this will remove all the unwanted slashes where if required and then we are going to set up like remove remove the dot php extension okay so this dot php over here so we are going to remove that one so for that you can just write the let me just copy this and request and then again let's copy it and here you are going to give backslash dot php where minus f and then you are going to rewrite the rule of shift 6 that is your increment symbol and open dollar dollar one dot php all set so this is a code to remove the extension from your url so let's save guys and now let's see the output so let's go on home page so let's try to remove this dot php here it works fine okay so let's try on php category dot php let's add perfect so it's working fine guys so without the dot php extension it's working and now the main motto of cleaning the url okay so you need to write again rule so rewrite rule where i want the category okay so let's copy the category let's enter over here let's take this category where this is my category right now slug let's take this forward over here and give forward slash open and close bracket and then your array where small a to z capital a to z and then 0 to 9 numeric values and give hyphen over here so i want to accept this hyphen and then plus then your page guys so let us copy that page url so let's copy this and paste here so inside this this will be our random data so you are going to give dollar one over here all set so now guys you are going to same way if you have many much you can add on or else if you know how to create this dynamic so as we are getting dynamic over here dollar one means you are getting all the dynamic data so same way if you get any solution for this please comment below so you can follow with like dollar one and make this as dollar two so just try to find out so yep let's continue let's get back refresh perfect so it's working fine over here with this url and let's try to remove this dot php and hit enter cool so it's working fine and now let's try to remove this parameters and add a forward slash hit enter cool so your url is working fine and you are getting the data but you are missing with your 
url guys okay so for that case you need to set up your url base url so let me just show you let's inspect why this css html are not loading let's go to head tag and this is our url so let's open a new tab and you can see that the url is on category forward slash assets css main dot j css okay so for this case you are going to make it in this way then you will get your bootstrap code right so for that case guys you need to create a base url so let's get back okay so let's go to our global file so which comes under config.php so we have created one config.php and this file this config.php file is included in all the files as you can see let me move to top here config go to login you can see that config so same all the files should be included okay so yep let's create one function with the name base underscore url and let's take all the slug from here and echo let's get back so this is my base url let's copy that and paste here all set and let's concatenate this dollar slug from whatever data you are getting from it so now guys you are going to use the same base url in all your pages so first step let's set up our css files and js file so let's get back you need to copy this function name and let's go to header.php and this is our css code over here just need to open and close php with the shortcut base url and inside the single quotes you are going to paste this so let's get this and paste here all set and you do not give forward slash because we are already setting in our config file so let's set up over here so make sure you are adding this forward slash so we don't need to call again and again that thing okay so same way copy give single quote and done so now guys let's refresh and check the output so at least css should load perfect done guys so now our full script part is pending and your logo is not loaded so let's set the logo also okay so now let's move to our navbar first we have front and navbar and this is our logo so we can see that two logos are present over here let's paste the base url and close so let's copy this and paste for the mobile view logo okay so this number was for the mobile view and now let's check the output yep so you, if you are on the category.php you are finding this data so now we have successfully set with the css and now guys let's set up with our urls so when you click on php you can find that it's moving in this way and it's going back and back let me just click here php php so it's going on it's adding with the category all right so you need to solve this also so now guys let's set up with this url let's go to the nav bar and here is the data let me just minimize for the backup purpose let us copy and paste here and now you need to set the base url so php is equal to close php where base underscore url open and close function and now you need to take the category forward slash your slug so let's take this slug control x and concatenate and paste it guys that's it so you need to remove this unwanted datas save done so let's comment this and now guys let's see the output for this let's get back refresh 
and let's click on PHP. Perfect. So PHP tutorial Laravel. Here comes your Laravel. Done. So now, guys, let's click on this PHP insert data. So it should view that data. Okay. But you can see that it's going to category and then your post.php and creating again your parameter and sending all the data. So now you have to go to your categories. I mean this category page where you should find this. So let's move. Okay, all set. So make sure you are adding this base URL in every page. Okay, so like here also all code. Let me just add off here or else we'll miss out. So paste here and give a close bracket close PHP all set so same way you just need to add on every URL guys so let's get back and let's move to our category dot PHP guys so where we have to set for the post one I mean this post so let's work on it so yep guys all the titles are working fine and here you go at the post so this is our post view where you can find this post.php title okay so let's open php is equal to close php tag and your base url function so base url function and from here you are going to take your post control x and pass it over here so then your remaining your post slug so I'm going to take this control X and post it let's concatenate this done and you're going to remove all this perfect so now guys let's test this also let's refresh once control R and now let's click here okay post slash puts interdata internal server I think we have not set that in our HD access so you know to go to your HD access file so right now we are making as a static one so let me just make for the post also and here your post.php title okay so let's save and refresh cool so you are getting your data guys so post your insert so perfect URL let's get back now you can find under your post there is no image so same thing that image is missing which means you have to set your url guys so let's go to our post.php post.php and where is the image here guys so let's set up with the base url open php i mean open php tags and base underscore url single quote you are going to copy the path so let's control x the path and paste here dot and then your post item guys so let's take this control x paste here all set and now let's check the output save refresh boom so you have got the image also so same way guys you have to adjust with your all your urls from your home page so right now in home page you are telling that okay it's not going to home why because we have not given the base url as i said we'll forget so make sure you are adding all the base url okay so yep base url inside single quotes you are going to pass this index.php perfect so same way guys you have to call all your url field using base url function so let me submit with the login also login.php and your register.php save and make sure you are not missing with any other urls so you might get this error perfect so we have successfully done with our clean and tidy url guys with the live demo so in this video that's it and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share